everyone. Welcome to Salesforce Weekly YouTube video channel. All right, so today we're going to be looking at guided actions and how we visualize the flow stages of a guided action and how we pre-populate a guided action into the guided action widget. So let's start by looking at the finished solution. So I'm just going to jump into my demo app. Okay, I'm just going to switch the stage. Now, before we change it to another stage, let's call out the components of this. Guided action list is here. Okay, there's nothing in there at the moment. Also, what we have is we have three, we have a three column console layout that has a left region pinned here. All right, you'll see why that's important in two seconds. So let's hit negotiation and review. Okay, so let's have a look at what's happened there. It's populated a name verification in my guided action widget on the left-hand side. So let's just run that. Okay, so now when I run that, it opens up a new tab, okay, with my flow screen or the first flow screen. But on the guided action list, I now get this nice visual indicator. So name verification, date of birth verification, address verification. So let's go name, Mike Gill, Mike at demo.com. Let's hit next. And down here, it's now asking me for date of birth. Let's hit that, hit next. It's now asking me for my address. So let's put something in here. Let's put my real address in. Don't know why I'm doing that, but it doesn't really matter too much. OX25, 24, 5AL. Oxford. Finish. All right, so that closes, takes me back to the opportunity and it shows that my guided action is complete. And if I click on the history, I can see, obviously I've run this a few times, but if you had different actions popping up, they would be there. So that's quite cool. So how do we, how do we build that? So let's, let's jump into setup. Let's see if we can do something similar on our leads. So let's first create a simple flow. All right. Okay, I'm gonna allow flash. Not for much longer though, because we all know that the non-flash version of flow is coming very soon. So I'm gonna create some screens here. So let's create the first screen. Let's call it the name screen. Let's add checkbox, sorry, not a checkbox, a text field, first name, make that required. And then let's add a last name. Okay, make that required as well. All right, happy with that. Let's add another screen. Let's call this address, Oop, address screen. Let's add a couple of address fields on here. Street, that required. For the purpose of the demo, I'm just gonna do a couple of things. Let's just do postcode. All right, make that required. Okay. And let's just do one more screen. Let's call this the title screen. Let's just add title text box in here. All right. So I've got three screens. Very simple stuff. I'm not worrying too much about the complexity or anything like that. I'm just building out those screens. Okay, so that's the screens part of the flow. Let's jump to resources and add the stages. So let's have, call the first stage name verification. And the order of that, that's the first step. I'm gonna have that active by default. So I want them to see the stages, but I want the guided action to tell me where I am in the stage. So we're gonna see them all, and then they will highlight as we move through the different screens. So that's the first one. Let's do the second one, address stage. Okay, I'm gonna make that two, active by default. 
And then third one, let's call this the title stage. All right, and I'll make that the third one. Okay, so I've got the three stages, but those alone won't do that much. So what's the magic source for this? Here's the assignment. So let's bring in an assignment. So set state, set address stage. So I'm gonna set the active stage. Uh, hold on, active stage. Sorry, current stage. That's what I'm looking for. If I can just type current stage equals stages address. All right, I'm going to link the name to that and then the assignment to that. I'm then going to grab another assignment and then go set title uh, stage, something like that. So the current stage, I'm going to say equals stages title stage. And I'm going to continue along the chain and just link that up. All right, almost there. So one more thing that we do need, I'm just going to pop in the magic variable. I call it the magic variable because you have to call it record ID. So when we launch this, we could pass in the record ID. So in our case, it could have been but it was the opportunity in this case it could be the lead or any record then I could load data or save data or whatever I want to do I've got the record ID of the record that's launching it okay I need to make sure that that's input to allow us to access it externally and I'm going to save this I'm going to call this lead action Okay, it's going to give me a warning. I'm just going to make sure I've set the name one. There's the starting element. Save. Close. Activate. Okay. So that's that's our flow. Let's go to Lightning App Builder. And let's create a page for our lead. So record page lead guided action page. Let's pick the lead object. There it is. Hit next. I'm going to pick console pinned left sidebar. Let's add our guided action list. Let's add our highlights panel. Let's add our path. Let's add some details. Let's add some activities. Let's save that. Activate it to make it our default for everyone. All right, so we've got all the components that we had on the opportunity there. Okay, so let's go to our, let's go to our demo app. Or apps even, let's go to app manager. And let's go to the demo app and just make sure that we've got leads in here now. We do, right, perfect. Save that, come out of that. Let's go to my demo app. All right, so let's go to our leads. Let's create a new lead. Let's do ace, gill, ace, tennis. Okay, all look good. So, Let's just check that we have our flow available to us. We do, so I'm hitting add here. So it hasn't popped yet because we haven't done that bit, but I'm hitting add. So let's go on to the first screen. So the widget pops our name verification, our address stage, could have given these better names, title stage. So put ace, ace gill, address to mobile. Close something, Alex. 
title the boss finish all right there it is so that's all good it all works that's great so let, now let's come and try and piece this together so let's hit setup let's go to process builder okay that's the one that I had previously so we'll create one in sec so opportunity remember I said on change of stage we're going to pop our name verification so we want the same thing on leads so process builder let's create a new one let's call this lead actions let's call it a record changes let's pick our lead object when it changes Let's use our status is working. Let's say status is change true. Give it a name. So in the immediate actions, I need to create the record action. So pop action let's call it that and let's search for record actions okay it preloads us in for us hopefully we've got our lead action here we do the order let's have the first one the parent record let's go formula let's go lead id and let's pin this at the top okay we can also make it mandatory if we want to Save, activate, that's all good. Jump to our demo app. Jump to our test lead. Okay, so there's nothing there at the moment, but let's jump along the stage. Here's our action. Let's take some action. Mike Gill. Let's just put some in here. There you go. Look, it's moving along. Who's the daddy? Who's the daddy now? There you go. You could have many actions, different logic there, all kinds of things. But I think you agree. It's pretty, pretty cool, pretty simple. Yeah, hope you like it. All right, have fun.